Hey guys, this week I just want to take you all through two of my leg workouts and show you all what I've been doing and how they're going. So right now you just see me warming up. I'm doing some dynamic stretching, which is just stretching while moving, as well as some mobility training to make sure that I have full range of motion once I start lifting. I'll typically repeat these exercises about two to three times. I just listen to my body. So once I feel like I have full range of motion and my body is nice and loose, then I know that I'm good to go. So once I'm finished with that, then I'll move into some glute activation. So for today, I decided to use the band. So I'm starting off with some banded hip thrust. I believe I did five sets of 20. And while I'm doing this exercise, I like to do it very slow and controlled. I don't wanna rush it. So I'm slowly lifting up, squeezing my glutes at the top, and then I slowly come back down. And if you wanna make it more challenging, you can actually add on another resistance band a few inches under your knees. And you'll feel it even more in your glutes. Now I'm going into some side steps. I did 10 steps to the left and 10 steps to the right. And I try not to stop, just keep going, push through that burn. I was using a medium band but if you want to make it more challenging you can either add on a second band underneath your knees or switch out the medium band for a heavier band all right so now that I'm all warmed up it's time to start lifting I started off with some Smith machine squats and I did five sets of 15 I typically do five sets of 20, but today I just was not able to. So before I started this prep, I took about a month off. And so now I'm just gradually working my way up to what I would normally do. Me taking a month off wasn't planned. Honestly, I was just burned out. I was burned out of working out and fitness in general. And so I just took some time off. I did yoga and I walked and I just kind of relaxed. So now it's time for some Bulgarian split squats. I have like a love-hate relationship with this exercise. I love the results that I get from it, but I absolutely hate the way it feels, but it works amazing. I did five sets, no, I did three sets of 15 on each leg. I typically use a box that is pretty low to the floor because it's a little bit more comfortable for me and I'm able to feel it in my glutes and hamstrings more as well and not feel that burn in my back leg. We're moving on to some RDL. So I started off doing the RDLs on the floor and then in just a second, you're gonna see me change my mind and grab a plate. For this exercise, I did three sets of 10 reps. I love using a plate just because as I'm doing my RDLs, I feel it in my hamstrings a lot more. You don't have to, it's whatever works for your body type, your height, I'm about 5'4", so it works the best for me, but do whatever works best for you. Hi. 
ride with me if you ride with me you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky can get high with me that's a deal right ride with me if you ride with me you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five after my first leg day, I was extremely sore. So I had to make sure that I warmed up properly. So you see me starting off with some 90-90s and this just loosens up my hips. I did about 20 reps of it and I repeated it three times. So I did 20 reps, I took a break and then did it again. Whenever I'm extremely sore, I always start off with about 10 minutes of cardio and then I go into my dynamic stretching and mobility exercises like you see me doing right now. I didn't show the cardio, but I did do that before. And it just makes sure that I'm extremely loose before I start my workout. So it takes me about a solid 20 minutes or so to warm up. I know that's kind of a long time, but when you're sore, you have to just take your time. Don't rush it. So today's focus was mainly glutes, hamstrings, and my inner thighs. So I'm starting off with some hip abduction. I did five sets of 20, but the way that I did it was five sets of 10 leaning forward. So that's why you see me holding onto the machine. And then I'm gonna lean back and I'm gonna do another 10 reps. And I don't pause in between. So I do 10 forward and then 10 leaning back. And when you lean back, you're gonna notice that it's a lot more challenging, but you wanna keep going. this is where you see me start to struggle so I started off with 45 pound plates on each side and then I took that off I went down to 35 pound plates on each side I took that off and then I ended up with 25 my body just would not lift the weight at all so I was like you know what I'm just gonna start off with 25 pound plates on each side and then I'll work my way up eventually and I did five sets of 15 reps Reverse V squats are one of my absolutely favorite exercises to do. So I started off with one plate and then I moved up to two plates for the second two sets. And then for the last two sets, I did three plates on each side. So I did a total of five sets of 20. And I know that's a lot of reps, but your body gets used to it. You have to work your way up to it. Today, I felt so much better than my first workout on Tuesday. I felt stronger. And then once I finished the V squats, then I moved on to the sumo leg press. And this is a really good exercise because when you hit your back pose, the judges can see your adductors that are on the inside of your legs, and this helps with that. So I try to place my legs wide apart, my toes are turned out, and then I come all the way down, feel the stretch, and then I push back up. I wanted to do two plates, but my body was not letting me do that. So I just stuck with the one plate, and I did five sets of 15. And on my next video, I'll go over my prep details a little bit more. I'll talk about if I'm coaching myself, if I have a coach, um, how I plan out my workouts, my nutrition. I know I haven't talked about all of that very much, so I'll go over that in my next video that I put out next week. That way you all can have some more insight on my wellness prep. Now we're at the very last exercise. I ran out of time, so I wasn't able to do my RDLs or my walking dumbbell lunges, but I am finishing up with some hamstring curls and I did five sets of 20 reps. And by the time I got to this exercise, my legs were shaking. I was so tired, but I had a really, really good workout. 
But if there's anything else you all want to see, anything you want to know more about, definitely let me know so that way I can put it in some of my future videos. But until then, I'll see you next week. Thank you.